this ain't covering a damn thing down south, all right? Oh, I wish I liked cilantro. 12 out of 10. You guys gotta try that. Oh my God. We're just living our Barbie fantasy today. And everyone was like, <gasps> everyone gasped. Everyone gasped. I think they were afraid it was gonna impale somebody. It might outweigh. Might outweigh, really? It might outweigh. Ooh. Future Alex popping in really quick to say thank you to Catalina Crunch for sponsoring this vlog. Like I said, Future Alex, I'm having a little snack. But you guys can get 15% off plus free shipping site-wide on CatalinaCrunch.com using the code Alexandra. Welcome back to a new vlog. Starting this off in my office, I just filmed a like 10 minute get ready with me on TikTok doing this kind of fallish makeup. I used my pumpkin spice palette from Too Faced. I was like just feeling uh, pretend fall vibes considering it's like 80 degrees outside today. So let me tell you how the morning has gone. Yara and I woke up with good intentions. We went to the track. He was gonna run. I was going to walk fast. We did know it was supposed to rain today, but like it wasn't supposed to rain till a little bit later. So we're, I'm walking. He's doing stretches. He has like 15 minutes of stretches. I've walked 15 minutes now. Great. The sky opens up and starts down pouring. I did heatless curls last night. I had my hair in a ponytail when I was walking and somehow now they're just like these like pretty waves. So that's how we got here. Poor Yar didn't get to run at all. It was pouring. We were like jogging back to the car and that was the morning. <laughs> and we came home and had breakfast and I just filmed my 10 minute TikTok. So. Follow me on TikTok because I think I'm going to be posting more like get ready with me content over there because like I like putting them in vlogs sometimes but I know people get bored so I don't want to post them as a whole video. So yeah and they bring me joy so I'm going to post them probably on TikTok. Anyway so I thought we could start this vlog off because I need to try on my Skims swimwear that I bought because I need to return it if it's not good <laughs> and I don't want to miss the return window so I thought we could try it on together and assess the situation. I think I got three. I haven't even opened it yet. I'm struggling, oh my God. <laughs> did I buy the towel? I did, I'm so excited. <laughs> I forgot about the towel. Uh, I bought one of the Skims towels in hot pink. It's really pretty. <laughs> okay, and here, are, those look tiny. Okay, we'll see. First, let's take a gander at this beach towel. My beach towels right now were super affordable from Walmart and they work just fine. I thought I would treat myself to one little bougie towel because also it looks like it's, oh, it's actually a good size. It wraps around me. It's so cute though. It says skims and it's pink and it's big enough to fit around my big body. So I don't know, I really like it. It's a good purchase in my opinion. Okay, I was so in love with the colors. Don't remember. Okay, this is a one, like just, <laughs> What is this? No, really, what is this? Someone help me. Where's my phone? I'm gonna have to go back to the email and try to look at the picture of this. Okay, it's like a cutout. Okay, okay. And then look at this color. This is another one piece. This one's just like more of a classic one piece. So the problem with these kind of bathing suits is sometimes, oh, oh, that's not gonna work. These really high cut sides, ugh. I get it, I get that it's trendy, but can we stop? <laughs> can we please stop making all one piece swimsuits with these like high cut sides? Like, it's not enough room. Okay, and then I got a top, one of these like cool tops, you know, that have like the scrunching in the front. And I figured I would just pair it with a pair of like black high-waisted bottoms that I already have. All right, I might not be able to like show the bottom half of me in these suits, but. Let's try them on. Okay, I'm actually pleasantly surprised by this one first. This is actually really cute. So I sized up, I got these all in a 3X and it fits really well. This one is not high cut on the sides, thank gosh. But this is a really cute concept. The only thing is like first impressions wise, I wish this part was a little bit bigger. Like it is just covering my D cup boobs. So, yeah, this is actually really cute though. It's a little bit cheeky in the back. Like it cuts in a little more than like my other suits. But I love that this is kind of like right above my belly button. We've got this cut out here, the bandeau, so I don't have to worry about tan lines. I actually really like this. Okay, 
So we know we're keeping at least one of these. I don't know if these are still available. I bought them kind of a while ago, but if they are, I will link them. This is, I'm sorry, I love this. And I love, I love the color of this. This is really cute. A few minutes later. <laughs> this one's exactly as I expected. <laughs> I cannot even, I can't even show you this. Can you guys just see how high up it comes on the sides here? This ain't covering a damn thing down south, all right? All right, this one's going back. I honestly thought about keeping it and wearing it as a bodysuit because like it would be cute as a bodysuit with just like some high-waisted shorts, but not, not at this price point. Okay, I actually do love this top. It is very booby and you can see my tan line from my strapless bathing suit, but it does fit really well. I will say this is very, very stretchy. Like I probably could have got a 2X on this. Like it is so stretchy. These are so far a bit more forgiving than other skims. Like a lot of my skim stuff, well, some of it. The bottoms I don't always size up on, but the tops I always do. Anyway, I don't know. I think this is really cute. This is very in right now, so it's nice to find one that's plus size friendly with this scrunching. And the back has like a nice, pretty thick band. It could be a little bit thicker, but it does feel very like secure and comfortable. So I'm definitely gonna keep this. I think it's really cute um, with just some high-waisted black bottoms. Yeah, I like it. So again, I will link these items. Hopefully they're still available. Definitely gonna go return the purple one though. But honestly, two out of three is not bad. I really wasn't sure how these were gonna be. Many hours later. Oh, all right, <clears throat> got hair in my mouth. Um, I just finished shooting some pictures for um, a sponsorship and in this cute little fall outfit, not this, but I was sweating because it's not fall. Um, I ended up getting more of these flower hair clips. This one's from Timu. But I got this huge pack on Amazon really affordably. And I'm telling you, they're like identical. <laughs> Look at all these, I got like a neutral pack, all these cute neutral colors, so pretty. So which one should we wear today? Cause you know the hair is going up. I'm sorry, it's just who I am. Um, I feel like this green. Yeah, I'm feeling the green. Hair's going up, hair's going up. And like I said, I'm shocked how much hair these hair clips hold. Like they don't look like they'd hold that much, but they hold a full amount of hair. I'll link that pack below. They have other color options as well. It is 1220 and I'm getting hungry for lunch. I, I'm really like feeling Chipotle. A little Chipotle bowl I think would suffice. I don't feel like making anything. So I think I'm gonna go, I think I'm gonna go pick up a Chipotle bowl. We have secured the Chipotle and it's so wild. The sun is out. It has totally transformed. All of a sudden it's like a beautiful afternoon. It is kind of humid though. I almost feel like it needed to rain more and thunder more because now it's like just really hot. I had to crank the AC to shoot my fall outfit pictures earlier because I was like, mm -mm, we're not doing this. I have also not drank enough water today. So also like, when it comes to drinking water, look up online how much you should drink because I feel like it's kind of a, people think it's like a one size fits all. How many ounces was it? Like 64 ounces, right? Like people always used to say drink eight ounces, eight cups of eight ounces, eight glasses of eight ounces of water, which would be 64. But like based on your age, your weight, your height and all that, I, I gotta drink like three of those a day. So I try to drink one of these in the morning, one in the afternoon, and then one before um, the end of the day. But I try not to drink it too late either because then you gotta pee all night. So this afternoon we have a repair guy coming to fix, you know the leather recliner couch we have that's up in Yar's office now? We watch TV in there a lot and one of the recliner sides isn't working. So thankfully we actually got a warranty, which, you know, I feel like a lot of the time we just are like, no, we don't need a warranty, but I'm glad we got it because they're coming to fix it for free. And if they can't fix it, they'll replace it, which is so exciting because we love that couch. It's so comfortable. So yeah, they're coming today between two and five. So I'm gonna eat my lunch and then I'm on 
I'm on couch duty. I'm on couch patrol because Yara's working. I have the dog down. The dog. I have the window down and the dog doesn't even have his head out the window. But oh my god, this morning when it was raining and I brought the dog out, I put his little raincoat on. He looked so cute. Look how cute he looked. Okay, my bowl today was absolutely massive. I ate like the top of it. I think there's just a lot of rice in the bottom. So I kind of like ate the top layer of it. It was still very good. It's funny how like some days cilantro is more cilantro-y than other days. I had threaded or posted on threads saying, I wonder what it's like to not have the soap cilantro gene. Like when I taste cilantro, it tastes like soap and it's so sad. People who love cilantro, like love cilantro and I will just never know what that's like. <laughs> cilantro to me some days in the chipotle i can like really taste it and other days i can't really taste it but like today it was like just really strong and i just was like ugh, you know i tried to like pick out the big pieces of it oh i wish i liked cilantro what does cilantro taste like to you guys who like it and doesn't taste like soap let me know many hours later okay you guys it is 3 30 and i just made myself a little snack plate i didn't end up eating the rest of my chipotle bowl it was just too cilantro -y, like no. So I've been really into snack plates lately. <laughs> I've been posting them on Instagram. So I've got some apples with natural peanut butter, some Catalina Crunch, which I've already been munching on. As I said earlier, huge shout out to Catalina Crunch for sponsoring the vlog because I love Catalina Crunch. If you guys remember, I was bringing it with me last summer to the pool. It's one of my favorite snacks. You guys know I'm all about the protein, especially since my gastric bypass a few years ago. But this snack mix, it's so fire. So today I'm having some of the cheddar. So as you can see here, it's got chickpea pretzels and then cheese crisps and cashews. And they all have like a cheddar seasoning. And a serving of this has eight grams of protein and four grams of fiber. And I also really like the spicy one. It's the same kind with like a spicy seasoning. And they do also have like a traditional one here. This one has pecans and cashews. And then like the chickpea pretzels, which I really love. I honestly like them better than regular pretzels. And then this one is the creamy ranch. This is another really good one. This one has almonds and pecans and they have this really good um, ranch seasoning on it. I also love mixing them together and it's just like this yummy mix of flavors. Because honestly, I don't know about you guys, but like I love a snack mix. It's really hard to find ones that have protein and a serving only has one gram of sugar, no added sugar, because that stuff like really matters to me now. This just has like that same delicious taste of all like those classic, you know, party mixes that we all love. It honestly tastes nearly identical and it's like, Nostalgic reminds me of childhood, but just like so much higher in protein, lower in carbs. I believe if you're keto, this is also keto friendly, made with clean ingredients, nothing artificial. I know a lot of you guys are like moms or parents as well, and it's back to school coming up. This would be great to like throw in your kids little snack pack. We also have a road trip coming up, perfect for a road trip, perfect for on the go, perfect to bring to work. And like this afternoon snack will actually like, you know, fill me up keep me full until dinner time because also since my gastric bypass like I don't eat a lot at one sitting I can't eat a lot at one sitting so like eating stuff that like can keep me full for a while like it's just so much more convenient so as I mentioned earlier you guys can get 15% off plus free shipping site-wide on catalinacrunch.com using the code alexandra I highly recommend their snack mixes they're delicious, they're so good. You guys actually can get an even bigger discount too if you subscribe. You can try a variety pack, which will give you a variety of all of their best-selling flavors. Bruno is playing with his toy. <laughs> or if you guys already have a favorite flavor, you can order a four pack of that flavor. So be sure to take advantage of it while this deal lasts. The link will be in the description box. Definitely give it a try, I'm telling you. Mm, so good. So I've actually run to the post office. I returned the bathing suit. And I also had to return something else. So they were both post office. So that was good. And now I've just been editing. So editing, emails, all that fun stuff. But I do think tonight I wanna try the new recipe from Antony's cookbook. So stay tuned and we will make dinner together in a little while. Do you want to play? Do you want to play? Let me get your toy. Whoosh. You go get it. Bring it back. No, you have to bring it. Go get it. Bring it back. <laughs> okay. The 
this little feeder toy has been so great. Just push it. Push it. You can do it. Ready? He normally does it. <laughs> he gets a little camera shy. Many hours later. All right, you guys, the time has come. We're cooking a new recipe tonight from Anthony's cookbook. My first time cooking from his cookbook here. We are making pasta with sausage, lemon, and parsley. So I've got this, this is the kind he used. Never made pasta with this before. Um, we've got some unsalted butter, lemons, and then I got um, Italian chicken sausage. I've never cooked with fennel seeds. Um, fresh Parmesan, olive oil, and then I'll need a few other things I have to grab, but I am so excited to try out a new recipe. Okay, first I'm doing something I've never done before, which is toasting fennel seeds in a small dry skillet, a teaspoon. Okay, and then I have to crush them. So let's see how this goes. All right, we're gonna toast them for one to two minutes until fragrant. Hmm, this smells kind of like licorice. All right, a teaspoon. Okay, medium low heat. Shake them back and forth. One to two minutes. You guys want to smell these? It smells pretty good, right? It smells kind of like licorice. I don't know why I love doing that. I'm like, sniff it, taste it. Ooh, I can start to smell them. And then next we're gonna bring a pot of water to boil and salt it like it's the ocean, it says. <laughs> He says to taste it. Ooh, interesting. That's actually kind of funny because you never know how much salt to like put in your boiling water. But before it boils, taste it and it should taste like the ocean. That's funny. All right, we're going to try that. Got to keep these shaking. I am starting to smell them. I'm going to toast it for like a little longer. Okay, I think these are considered lightly toasted now. They smell fragrant, so I'm going to transfer them to a cutting board. Now we're going to get to our boiling water. Our boiling Ocean water. All right, I'm gonna salt this water. It says it's a lot of water and a lot of salt. Okay, that's like close to the ocean. Does it need more? It's not totally ocean. Okay, I think I got it. <laughs> I think I got it ocean level. Okay, now I need to mash these with the bottom of a heavy pan. Okay, now I need to mash these with the bottom of a heavy pot. Okay, I'm hoping this is mashed enough. And now water is almost boiling and I am cooking the Italian chicken sausage. This was the moment I learned my pot is too small. I should have known because the pasta is large. Now I need more water. Everything's fine. Also, my big pan is dirty, so don't mind this small pan. Carrying on. Okay, so this recipe calls for dry white wine. So I looked up online, and in replacement, I can do half white wine vinegar with half chicken broth or stock instead. So that's what I'm gonna do, and hopefully it's okay. So I'm gonna add that, I'm gonna add this. So it's supposed to be a half a cup, so I'll do a quarter cup of each of these into the chicken sausage. So now I'm gonna add in lemon zest and lemon juice from two lemons. All right, it's gonna be about a quarter cup of fresh lemon juice. I love a lemony pasta. Okay, now one tablespoon at a time, I'm gonna add in the cold butter. I'm gonna lower the heat a little bit. And I drained the pasta and reserved some of the pasta water. And then in here, we're gonna add the reserved pasta water, cheese, quarter teaspoon of salt, and the fennel seeds. And then we're gonna like mix everything together. Okay, adding in about a half a cup of reserved pasta water, about a half a teaspoon of salt, about a cup of grated parm and our fennel seeds give it a little mix and then we're gonna add in our saucy chicken sausage mixture let's 
get it all together. It smells really good. And we're gonna add some parsley and top it with some more fresh cheese. Okay, I just served up Yara's plate. Look at how gorgeous the presentation. Okay, I'm gonna try a bite. I haven't tried it yet. Probably should have tried it before I served it. But look at that gorgeous bite. Got the chicken sausage. All right. Oh, oh my God. It's one of the best things I've ever eaten in my life. 12 out of 10. You guys gotta try that. Oh my God. We're definitely gonna cook more from his cookbook. Tomorrow. Good morning, you guys. It is the next day. I'm heading to go swimming with my mom. I've got that new skim suit on. And then I just threw on some black shorts. I don't know where these are from. Just some like flowy little shorts. And I'm gonna bring the new towel. And I'm gonna use the Target beach bag. So we're just living our Barbie fantasy today. I love how big this towel is. I think I'm gonna bring those new Amazon sunglasses. And I need to fill up a water. I love this huge hydro flask. It keeps everything cold. Like this will literally stay cold in the heat all day. And I swear I didn't plan this. <laughs> but remember how I mentioned how I brought the Catalina Crunch to the pool last year. We're doing it again today. This was not planned. Bruno's excited because he knows we're going out. For the poolside snack, we're bringing the cheddar crunch mix. And I'm gonna big bring Bruno and he is going to hang out with Cha Cha while we're at the pool. All right, I don't need that much stuff. The pool's pretty chill. It's not like as intense as going to, you know, the beach, so. All right, we are off. Okay, I'm stopping at the Dollar Tree. I hope they still have noodles because the pool we go to allows pool noodles. But I feel like I'm kind of late. I feel like it would be over here. There's fall stuff. I think it's gone. Yeah, it's turning to fall. One eternity later. All right, you guys, we just went in the water and the water is really cold, but it was very refreshing. Loving the skins. And the sun came out, yay. Something like some poolside chicky tendy. We just went in the water again. And now I am tanning, tanning my back for the first time this summer. Like I have not laid on my stomach once. <laughs> so she sunscreened me up and I tan the backside. Six and a half hours later. Someone told me I looked like Barbie. Mm -hmm. I didn't even realize. You even, didn't realize well, that? Girl, you look like a walking piece of bubble gum. <laughs> I knew that this was Barbie, but then I forgot about my uh, my slides. Uh, and your tote bag. And my tote bag. <laughs> I should have worn my pink sunglasses. Where do we park? Oh, down here. <laughs> I'm losing it. I'm losing my mind. Oh my God, you guys, the funniest thing happened. <laughs> we were in the pool. No, wait, where were we parked? Over here. Over there. All of a sudden, an umbrella flew up and over the fence. <laughs> And everyone was like, <gasps> everyone, gasped. everyone gasped. I think they were afraid it was going to impale somebody. It was a little. It happens. I've seen that on the news. <laughs> it was a little scary, but kind of funny. All right, y'all. I am back home. I had to stop and grab a couple more groceries. So we grabbed some more smoothie stuff. I also ran out of broccoli. So I got more frozen broccoli. We use this all the time. We've also been like really into smoothies again. Um, it like comes and goes like smoothie time get sick of it, smoothie time, get sick of it. So mango chunks, strawberry bananas, blueberries. We always keep these on hand. Cucumbers and hummus, a daily snack. Multi-grain baguettes, more ciggies. Uh, I've been on my peach grind lately. Been loving peaches. Um, apples, honey crisp always. We're gonna try this for the first time. Um, it's a zero sugar, it's sweetened with like stevia and monk fruit. So I can't wait to try this. Um, some of these some green beans and then i also got some pumpkin puree i want to make bruno like a licking mat at some point this is for smoothies more grapes and then i'm gonna make a fun little treat that i saw on tiktok so they take pretzels she used square pretzels but like i love 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 these so she took the pretzels oh i don't know if it'll work and she put like a couple chocolate chips and um, marshmallows and then threw in the oven until it like got soft and then made like a little sandwich and put them in the fridge and it just like it looked so good I'll see if I can make it work with these I don't know if the holes are too big 
I didn't think that one through. <laughs> Many hours later. Okay, showered. We had leftovers for dinner and now we're running some errands. We've got Bruno in the back. We're just running to Target and Best Buy, but I just cracked this open. I have not tried yet. We're gonna give an honest taste test here. I'm excited. I don't want to sway you. I'm not gonna say anything until you try it. <laughs> I'm not gonna say good. anything. I know. I know. Can't figure it out. Initial thoughts. Initial thoughts. It's not as carbonated as I want it to be. Or as sweet, right? Or as sweet. Yeah. But it's the closest thing to our favorite ginger ale. So our favorite ginger ale is the 365 ginger ale, but it has like a lot of sugar. So we've been trying to find one. The Zevia is not quite the same, but this is closer. Yeah. Definitely 100%. closer. That's a second place for sure. It's the enjoyable. Best, the best one so far is a 365 ginger ale. It has so I much sugar though. Yeah, it does. Well. So much sugar. That's but like, if you sugar. want a good ginger ale and you don't mind the sugar, it's delicious. Bruno is thriving. All right, so on second thoughts, um, given the benefits of it not having nothing artificial, real ginger, classic taste, and zero sugar, it might outweigh. Might outweigh, really? It might outweigh Ooh. the number one. Okay. It has real ginger in it, right? I think it's had pressed ginger in the... Yep, pressed organic ginger, sparkling filtered water, sweetener blend. It is good. The more I sip it, the more I like it. Better than the Zevia one for sure. No, no hate to Zevia because I tried to get on the Zevia bandwagon. It's just I like Poppy better. So, are you a fan of taller skinny cans, <laughs> or because it's twelve ounces, right? It's the same. It's thing. the same thing, or, just or, like that. It's just bougie. Yeah. I kind of like these. <laughs> I don't know why. I know they probably just do it for marketing, but there's something nice like about the palm it. Palm trees are just. It's a cute. Show the can. Yeah, it's it's nice. so cute. Such a nice can. <laughs> anyway, we're at Target. Yara needs face wash. What else do we need? Anything in the house? No, just face wash. All right. Yara's favorite. Like Get. Oh, you need face gel? Bevel is Yara's fave. I secured the face wash and only the face wash. I saw some fall stuff. I kept my eyes straight forward because we're coming back to do a fall shopping video. I'm not playing around. <laughs> That's a video for you. See how quick we were? Two minutes inside and the AC was on.